Hi, Manta Rays. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to multiply a three digit number by a single digit number. Okay, so three numbers, three, well, just like we can see over here, two times 432. You probably can't do that in your head, but I'm going to show you how to do that just like we did with multiplying a two digit number with a single digit number. So I'm going to take my pencil and to figure this out, I'm going to have to write it out and I have to put the big number on top. Um, so that is going to be 432. I'm going to write it like this, 432 and times two. All right. And if you notice there, I put my two, this two here, went right underneath the two in 432. So we need to make sure the numbers stay in their columns for place value. I could put the imaginary line down here and the imaginary line might look something like that. And that would be my imaginary line. I'll just get rid of it just because it looks a little bit messy on the computer. But that's something you can do when you do yours. Um, we can use an array to help us figure this out. And the first thing we need to do is, I'm going to minimize myself in the corner, is I need to start with our friendly number two down the bottom here. And I need to start off with multiplying that to this two here with the two in the 132. So I can show that using an array. So it's four lots of two or four groups of two or two, I mean, so, two rows of two, and that might look like something like this. One, two, three, four. There's one row of two, there's two rows of two. I can circle them up to check. Yep, and I can count them up. One, two, three, four. I can skip count them. Two, four. But what I want you to get used to doing for this, because you're gonna need it for when we do some bigger numbers, is using your multiplication chart, okay? because this is just taking too much time. It's gonna take you a lot of time if you keep drawing these arrays. So you wanna start getting comfortable using these charts here, okay? It'll save you a lot of time while you practice your multiplication. Now, two times two is four. Two times two equals four. Right, I'm gonna put our answer in here, four. Next one we're gonna do is, let's do a nice green two times three. And you can see that number that's gonna go to three, it's gonna go right underneath, I'm not gonna write it out there, but I'll show you that in a second. Two times three, that might look like two lots of three, two rows of three, let's make that bigger. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can circle them off. Yep, a little bit messy, that will do. Three, six. I can check my chart over here. Um, and I can say where two times table intersects with a three, two times three equals six. And I can also check down here too. Two times three equals six. And the six will go right underneath the three. I'm not writing it out over there, okay? It's not gonna be out over there like that. And it's not down here. Right in its imaginary column, okay? Now, the last one I need to do now is, let's use a nice red. Two times the four. Let's just go around it. It's starting to look a little bit messy. Two times four. Again, I can show you that using an array. One, two rows of four, two groups of four. And I can circle them off. One group of four, two groups of four. I can count these up one by one now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or I can use my four times tables. I could say four, eight. Um, or I can go to my times tables, two times four, find where they cross over equals eight. And two rows of four down here equals eight. So then I know my number is eight and I can put that in. So 432 times two equals 464. Good. All right, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna minimize, I might even get rid of all these ones. 
and oh, let's just minimize them, shrink them down, and we'll put all the way up here. And we're going to focus on this one now, three times 312. This time we're not going to do the arrays. We're going to move it a little bit quicker. So this is what I want you to doing. I want you to work faster. So you can do more mass in a shorter amount of time and focus on other important things. So I'm going to put the big number on top, 312 times, oh, I shouldn't put it underneath three. Let's put it out to the side, times three equals all right first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start off with that small number number at the bottom the three and i'm going to multiply that with the two in 312. okay i'm not going to draw the arrays let's try work quicker and see how fast we can do this one we're not in a that much of a hurry but we're just going to use these because it's a bit quicker so three times two three times two equals six and i can check it up here Three times two equals six. Perfect. There's your answer there. Three times one. So for this one, it's going to be three times one. Those two numbers there. Three times one is three. Three times one is three. Three times one is three. I'm going to put the three in there. Run right underneath the one. Try to keep those columns going. And let's do a nice green. Three times three. Three times three, let's check our chart. Three times three equals nine. Three times three equals nine. And I can even, I mean, I could do the array here if I wanted to. I could go back to doing it this again if I wanted to. And do three groups of three, three rows of three. Let's make that a little bit bigger. I'm not much luck with my circles at the moment. Um, and I could circle them off. There's one group of three. Oh, this is taking me forever, okay? So instead I can use these charts here, three times three equals nine. And your answer would be three times 312 equals 936. All right, I hope this video helps you. Next time we're gonna try this more two digit ones, but we're gonna do it with bigger numbers where we need to regroup and carry over. Um, I'm sure you can do it. Um, just use those charts and I'll be able to help you a lot. Thanks for watching Manta Rays um, and good luck.